February 2022, war broke out between Russia and Ukraine, and the United States and other countries joined forces to impose economic sanctions on Russia. The sanctions against Russia will affect the global food industry. Because Russia and Ukraine are the largest exporters of wheat, there may even be food shortages in some places and rising wheat prices are detrimental to these many populations because wheat is the raw material for bread, a staple food for vulnerable people. This leads to the inability of these two countries to supply wheat to the global market. The supply will decrease and the supply curve shifts to the left. And because of the shift in the supply curve, the price of items in the market rises. Russia and Ukraine are major producers and exporters of wheat and corn in the world. So when Russia and Ukraine war, the supply of wheat and corn decreases and shortages of wheat and corn lead to the prices rising, leading to lesser demand for wheat and corn due to the high prices. If we are breeding chicken, we must have the chicken feed, and the main materials to produce chicken feed are wheat and corn. So, when wheat and corn prices increase, it has led to higher breeding costs and the supply of chicken decreases. When the price of chicken feed rises, cost to breed chickens increase and lead to supply of chickens decrease. In the same way, when the supply of chickens decreases, causing a shortage of chickens, the price of it will increase too. To stabilize prices, our country can only monopolize the supply of chicken. From the graph, we can see as the prices of wheat and corn have risen, it will cause a decrease in the supply of chicken feed. The supply curve will shift to the left, causing the price to increase and quantity to decrease. When the supply of labor decreases, it will lead to the poultry farm chicken supply will decrease. When the demand is greater than the supply, the price of chicken will increase, and the consumer will demand less chicken. These cause the poultry farm will decrease their supply and the demand for labor to decrease. When the capital for breeding chicken increases, it will lead to the cost of production and the price of chicken increase. Then the poultry farm will decrease the supply of chicken due to the demand for chicken decrease and they will demand less chicken feed. This will bring in the result of the price of chicken feed decrease and the demand for its increase. When the price of chicken increases the demand for meat will increase, the demand curve shifts right from DM0 to DM1 and the equilibrium point move from M0 to M1. This causes the price of meat to increase from PM0 to PM1 and the quantity demand for meat will increase from QM0 to QM1. When the price of meat increases the demand of chicken increase and the demand curve shift to right from DC0 to DC1 and the equilibrium point move from from X0 to X1, these cause the price of chicken increase from PC1 to PC2 and the quantity demand of chicken increases from QC1 to Q. Next, chicken price also affects fast food businesses such as KFC and Burger King. When chicken price increase, the increase in cost of production of KFC shift supply curve leftward, resulting in higher price and quantity. Hence, people would prefer Big Mac from Burger King. This is because fried chicken price increase, making Big Mac seems worthy. Hence, the demand for Big Mac increase, causing rightward shift of demand curve, and an increase in both price and quantity. Then, the preferences change again due to higher price of Big Mac. Hence, the demand for KFC increase, raising the price and quantity. Meanwhile, due to the government intervention in chicken price, the cost of production reduces and supply curve shifts rightward. The final equilibrium price is same as initial level but quantity increase. Next, the demand for factor of production in fast food sector decreases for chicken business, whereas it increases for other businesses. As a result, the quantity supply of factor of production also decreased in chicken business and went to other business because the factors are same. For example, the workers such as cashiers and chefs or supplies such as straws and tissues are similar in fast food sector. 